Now we're going to start doing basic uh, cake decorating. Uh, we're, first we're going to do is we're going to ice the top of the cake for us. We're going to do a couple of methods and the top of the cake needs to be iced first before we uh, do anything else. So what now I'm going to do is I'm going to start icing, put some icing on the top and then I'm going to take a hot knife here and uh, it's, I have a cup here, hot water with my icing knife and we're going to smooth it out, make it really nice and pretty. Okay. And you really don't need much icing, just enough to, to cover the top. I like to do it with a piping bag like that. That way I get a nice even look, as well as keeping any cake crumbs from coming up. Okay, and just keep on going back and forth until there's no cake showing. And now I'm gonna round it around the edge. Everybody has their own way of doing cake um, icing. I find this easy for me, but you can find your own methods. A little bit of water going on top. Can you talk about that? The water helps smooth out the, uh, the icing, as you can tell. It gives it a nice smooth texture, and uh, that's what you're looking for. You want it very smooth. You don't want uh, any cake crumbs whatsoever coming up on top. It's nothing uh, looks more awful than seeing cake crumbs on top of a cake, especially if you're trying to keep it white. Okay. There we go. All right, now that we've got that done, we can start doing the base. All right. Okay, now this is a fun, easy way to do a frilly cake, okay? This is um, basically, it's an icing bag. The only issue here in this is it takes a lot of icing to decorate doing this method. But the fact it looks pretty once, once it's all done, it's very, very pretty. So you're gonna start at the bottom. Start at the left and you work your way right. And as you go, you go back and forth like an S and you keep on doing that. You do it next one, you do the same thing. Back and forth. And it takes a little time, but you get practice, you can figure it out. It's not that hard. Okay, same thing. And swoop. Okay. Get a nice look. We'll do one more. Back and forth. Boom. Okay. This here is a frilly. This is kind of a frilly technique. It, it, it gives a nice frill. And then uh, what we're going to do, um, it, it's very simple. It's really easy to do. The problem is it uses a lot of icing. All right, now what we're going to do is a basket weave, okay? And what I'm going to use is a basket weave tip, okay? It has a flat, solid surface on the one side and a prong side on the other. The prong side will give us a nice basket weave look. First thing you want to do is you want to go down the side, solid. Okay, now, first you want to do is, since it's a big tip, you want to figure out how many of these you can get on the cake. It looks like I can probably get squeeze in three. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to make a space, it's called a spacer, right here. That's a spacer. That way you have an even space going across. Now you're going to do is you're going to go across all the way on this one, all the way through. So, like so, okay? And then you're gonna put another spacer right here. All right. Now that you have this line here, you're gonna go down again. All right, and of course, your, your spacer's already there. So you're gonna go from here and work all the way across. From here, work all the way across. All right, and now we're gonna go down again and repeat the process. This time we're going one across. Boom, done. Down again. Okay. Okay. Boom. Down. From here. Go across. Now we have a basket weave. 
now we're going to do is a Cornelli. Now, Cornelli is uh, a kind of, it kind of look like little gingerbread men, the way you do it. But what it is, basically, is a bunch of zigzagged lines that do not intersect, okay? So every Cornelli is different. There's not one Cornelli that looks the same. So have fun with it and do what you, do what you like, okay? All right, basically, we're going to start. We'll start here, and we're just going to go around in circles. Making sure they don't intersect, like so. And you definitely don't want to paint yourself into a corner here. go. That's a Cornelli. And that's a Cornelli. Now we do, um, I'm going to demonstrate on this cake we just decorated. We're just going to go, go through it and I'm going to show you how to scrape off icing. But in the process, what you're going to do here is you're going to have a, a nice little design as well. What we're going to do here is we're going to just uh, take off some of the icing we put on this cake we already decorated in, in, the, in before. And what we're going to do, we're getting ready to do other things. So I'm just going to show you what we can do with the scraper. Um, it actually gives you a uh, design on the cake too, if you like. You can do this too. You can put the icing on and you can scrape the excess off. Leaves you a nice look, clean look, like so. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do the fork, wave fork. It's called the wave technique with a fork, okay? Uh, it's very simple. You start at one end, and you just zigzag like, like water. It looks like, like a river. And you follow the pattern as close as possible. And you're going to keep on doing it until the whole top is completely done. Okay, and work this side. All right, and that's that one way. And for fun, if you like, you could do it like a cross hatch. Okay, and you could start over here. Gives it another look all together. Okay? And that's the zigzag technique. Now we're gonna use the spoon and we're gonna do the wave. Okay? So let's grab the side here. And you can basically move the spoon back and forth. And you wanna go high on it to have big waves coming through. All right. You want to look like the ocean, basically. You can keep on going. As high as you can some places. There we go. And we're almost done. There we go. The wave. Let's try the peaks. Now the peaks and waves are pretty similar. The peaks are just a little bit more on height when you do it. So you have to be really kind of slow with it and bring it up if you can without exposing the cake. So let's try this again.
and you're really using like the tip of the spoon instead of the side of the spoon for the wave. It's a little bit tighter. Go. And that's the peaks. We just finished the peak. Now we're going to start the stripes. Okay? What we're going to do is you're going to take your knife and you're going to work your way from the edge of the cake to the middle. Okay? Slow and just bring it to the middle. kind of got away from me a little bit. Let me try it this way. There we go. Until it meets in the middle. There you go. There we are. Stripes. So I'm going to cut the strawberry ever so gently in a little thin pieces. I grab the crumbles and I go to the side and I press it just down into the cake. And this is just an easy way to decorate a cake. 